why I might indulge in sugar so much is just because I think it's so wrong to do. And the question I'm asking myself is, what can I do to make tonight the best night ever? What is going to make it joyful, fun, and fulfilling for me? What things do I love? Because my goal is to spend as much time as possible feeling as frickin' awesome as possible. So just always being really... <laughs> you would think that that would be an easy thing to do. And I trust that it is an easy thing to do. Do what you wanna do potato peeler. I think potatoes are better for you if you leave the peels on them. So it's probably good that I don't have a peeler. And it's probably good that I'm not a peeler or have never been a peeler. Because then what would things be like? <laughs> How would my life be different had I been a peeler? I don't know what the trajectory of a peeler is. I've never met one. I don't think I've ever talked to one. That'd be an interesting conversation. I don't discredit peelers. I think what they do is great. I love entertainment and I think it probably is an art form. I just realized that I'm missing a lot of ingredients for this soup. First thing I'm gonna do is have a rolling rock while I make it. I don't drink very often, and uh, I like the taste of beer, so I'm gonna see how that goes. I feel drunk, but I'm sober. I'm young and I'm underpaid. I'm tired, but I'm working. Yeah. I care, but I'm restless. I'm here, but I'm really gone. I'm wrong, and I'm sorry. indulge in sugar so much is just because I think it's so wrong to do and it's not freaking wrong so what if I want a cookie I like cookies I like sugar in fact I might go and get a shamrock shake at McDonald's I might get two <laughs> I just feel like I'm at a point where I'm gonna do everything that I want to do and nothing that I don't. And it's beautiful to reach these places in life where it's like, what do I possibly have to lose? Hey, I can't stop, won't stop moving. Don't speak the language. Music. Don't need explaining. I know that in the morning now, it's gonna be all. I feel like I'm always in a hurry. And the reason I think I always feel like I'm in a hurry is because I always want to move on to the next thing. I don't like it. I just want to be in this thing. So that's what we're gonna do here. We're just gonna be in this thing here and forget about what the next thing is because the next thing might not show up. Just do this. Self improvement orgasm. This music is beautiful too. All I really need to I think I'm gonna coin that. Not needing anybody's acceptance, just accepting myself in it. Because you know I'm all about that. I slept on a different side of the bed last night. I was reading a book before bed and the light on the other side, the lamp on the other side of the bed is just a lot brighter. 
So I slept on the other side. I don't know what time I woke up. I feel it was probably sometime between two and three and I don't think I fell asleep again. And I've had this conversation with you, Tannis, and or maybe I asked you where you slept. I think you said in the middle of the bed, which also was interesting. Maybe I'll try that tonight. I probably should be more middle of the bed type of person. Okay, here's the dilio. I'm kind of fearful for how I look because I went out after work at four and it's 8.15 and I pretty much drank for four hours straight. I even had a shooter called a Wonder Woman. <laughs> and I have to work tomorrow morning at 6.45, 4, 6.30, 5, 6.45. And um, 7.20. Um, now I need to decide if I'm going to a karaoke party or if I'm going to bed. I should go to the karaoke party because I've been invited three times and I haven't attended and I want to. I also wanted to go to an art event tonight. It's, when it rains of course though, like I can be sitting here on a weekend with nothing to do for three months and then have three things going on in one night. Okay, so for the record, bad one. I haven't done anything with my studio since I moved into this apartment because I wasn't ready to commit to this space yet. I was feeling in a place of transition, uncertain, to, uncertain of what I wanted to do next because the world is my oyster and I wasn't sure just which direction I was heading in. However, I feel like the time is right to resurrect the creative studio that I had initiated. Tomorrow's a new day.